Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Oh, my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope messages. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Pisces, which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Pisces, as well as if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Pisces, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it really does help out my tarot channel a lot and I'm just super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Uh, also remember Pisces that when it comes to my horoscope messages that they're just here for some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choice in your life because it is your life to live, not mine and not the tarot cards. So with all that being said, uh, Pisces, let's just get into your weekly horoscope messages today. So as per usual, Pisces, you know my usual spiel at this point, honey. I always like to pull some cards just to see where it is you guys are currently at in your path. So let's check it out. You guys have the Dreamer card, Archangel Metatron. Uh, so as I usually also do, if you're open to connecting with Archangels, uh, depending on your belief system and your practices, what it is you do is none of my business, honey. I just like to let you know your options. Uh, Metatron is out here uh, extending his arm out to connect with you. We also have the Six of Fire, or the Six of Wands, Pisces, as well as Archangel Camwell. Same spiel, number seven, right down the number seven, uh, can uh, Cancer, Pisces, uh, to look up at a later point, um, as well to see how it resonates with you in this reading and just uh, correlates with you for this week as well as the Nine of Fire or the Nine of Wands, Pisces. So taking this all in, you guys are, this is like a very interesting mixture of um, heavy energy, but also like very positive energy at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, it's almost, it's, Pisces, you guys probably had to like have like this crashing and burning moment where it's just like something that um, really was dramatic, really was chaotic, really was explosive in some way. And um, it was something that I feel like was kind of coming for a long time now. I feel as if this is a situation you kind of anticipated, um, but it was a necessity. Uh, I am getting that, you know, some of you Pisces are addressing some type of family issue. I do feel like you guys are addressing some type of toxic presence. I really feel strongly that it's a person uh, for you Pisces with this devil card coming in. Uh, yeah, I do feel like multiple, seven of cups, multiple. It is Okay, so it's more than one person that you guys are, more or one situation, because the Seven of Cups is filled with different things. It's not just one specific thing. So it's multiple situations that were just weighing heavy on you, and that just were not... I don't like to use the word toxic, because I feel like it's just so overused. Uh, it's just not fitting for your life anymore at this point. It's not compatible for you. So let's get into these your cards, right? We're going to start with the uh, life experience card. Now, the life experience card, Pisces, I believe in normal tarot, is actually the uh, tower card. This just makes it a lot more pleasant looking to look at, right, compared to a tower card where it's just like, oh my god, right? So this card, it says, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change and time to spread your wings. And so this is a card of where it's like, you're kind of being forced out of the nest, right? You're being forced out of the nest and you're kind of having to uh, really take a chance on yourself, take a chance on something, but I do feel like it's primarily with yourself. Uh, again, I don't feel like this is something that you were quite anticipating though. I feel like this caught you off guard. So uh, let's pull some clarifiers though, just to see uh, how, what detail we can get with this life experience card, what all this entails. Okay. So, we have the Emperor card in the reverse for you, with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse for you, the Queen of Cups with the Moon card. 
So Pisces, with this life experience card, the moon card does confirm to me for sure, for sure, of a situation that you were not anticipating. Definitely something that caught you off guard. I can't tell if you kind of felt betrayed at this situation, right? Because I really don't feel like you saw this coming. This is like a, st uh, a scenario of where it's like you tried to like have an honest conversation with somebody um, or you try to give this something your honest effort and you kind of uh, anticipated the results to pan out in one way or expected someone to react in a certain way and then nothing like it just went complete 180 complete difference right uh because with the moon card coming in here this lets me know really emphasizing the message because the tower card always signifies sudden change um and the moon card talks about something being revealed so it's just like something being revealed that causes you to have like a sudden change it's almost like a sense of like hearing randomly on the news that you need to evacuate your home almost right very much so that way because the tower card represents like your home life or like your foundation so powerful messages with this and i say this is something that you really weren't expecting that caught you off guard and you probably just felt you felt some type of way with this because of the five of pentacles normally in the upright this is a card of where you feel like you don't belong right this is a card of where it's just like a little bit of distance between like yeah just like a card essentially where you don't belong it's not necessarily like a match not necessarily anything that you're doing wrong or right or anything it just is like it just feels like there's some type of um distance right so when it's inverted which it is for you pisces it's almost as if like this is a situation that you felt like you were close to this is like a situation is like oh man i thought you had my back i thought you were my friend right and with the Emperor card in the reverse as well, that life experience, this Moon card as well, this really took a blow to you. It was almost like a punch in the stomach or a punch in the gut for you that was just like, oof, it's hard to just stomach, hard to just like come to terms with because you just, you, I don't want to say you felt backstabbed, but you just really did not anticipate things to pan out in such a way. And so, yeah, it, it can't help but feel like this is kind of like puts you in, in a rut of sorts. Um, but I, I see you coming out of it, right? The Queen of Cups just comes in as a message. Pisces of being kinder to yourself at this time. Uh, it, it can't help but feel like you guys have a little bit of a critical nature on something. I don't want to even say something. I can't. It's almost like your critical nature of yourself, right? So if you are being critical, like... I'm trying to think of how I want to word this, but, you know, let's just say that the message of, like, something betraying you, right, or, like, a result, something that didn't pan out in the way you did, maybe you put out a project and you're just like, well, it actually just ended up flopping, right, if we're just going to be blunt here, it flopped, and you're just like, well, is this just not my calling anymore, right, and you're just like, all right, I guess this is just, you know, having to change pace, paces, um, but it feels almost like you're internalizing the situation, this tower moment in this moon, like this situation here, I can't help but feel like you're internalizing it and kind of blaming yourself for it, which I kind of want to challenge you, Pisces, to question why that is, right? You know, it's very easy for us to be like, oh, you shouldn't feel guilty, right? You shouldn't feel this way, like, but that's not reality, right? If we could just be, if it's so easy to control our emotions, honey, and it'd just be like, oh yeah, I don't want to feel this. I shouldn't feel this. I'm not going to feel it. That's not realistic, darling, right? I challenge you, Pisces, to look at why you're feeling it. And more so what I mean by this is like, is there some type of insecurity going on? right and i speak of this in terms of experience honey i'm not speaking from a place of being on a pedestal right you know um i don't feel like giving an example right now because anything i have an example of right now is a little bit too personal honey but um you know there is just some times where it's like you have to kind of remind yourself it's not personal and we sometimes will make things personal when it's not personal because we are just so critical of ourselves. We think so, we can be, most of the time rather, I won't speak of everybody, but uh, we never give ourselves enough credit. A lot of people never give themselves enough credit. And so naturally, uh, the easiest thing to do is just to blame yourself because then it gives you this sense of, um, 
control. It gives you the sense of power where it's just like, oh, I could improve. And it, even if it's like blaming yourself, Pisces, um, that still sometimes feels better than having to just stomach the fact that something just isn't working out, right? Because then it kind of feels powerless, right? It's easier to stomach where it's just like, oh, I could improve and just always put yourself on this uh, never ending journey of improving. But I feel as if, just be kinder to yourself, Pisces. I don't want to go into a too long list, be on it. I feel like you get it. So we're going to go into this nine of fire for you or this nine of wands. This card says, don't give up, honey. Uh, protect, it doesn't say honey, but it does say don't give up. Uh, protect that which you've created. Have courage in yourself and believe in yourself. Honey, such a corny card for this. I've had this deck for like 10 years. I did not realize how corny this card sounds. Um, this nine of wands, usually I like to see this as a card of where it's like, I always like to use the example of like, a, I apparently just like to use examples tonight of like going into a gauntlet, right? You're in that gauntlet for a purpose. And while you're in that gauntlet, you're just getting barraged with things constantly, right? And so, but you acknowledge that there's like a purpose to it. There's, it's like a purposeful pain, a purposeful struggle. And I, um, yeah, this is one of those things that just spirit kind of asking you to uh, write it out. Write it out, but stop internalizing it while you're writing it out and just accept the fact that there's just some situations, situations, honey, are just, I can't even speak. You just have me so flustered, Pisces. I can blame you for my inability to speak. <laughs> no, um, I don't even remember what I was even just saying right there. Regardless, let's just get into your clarifiers. Apparently, I need to just shut up on me anyways. Um, Knight of Swords for your Nine of Wands with your Nine of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Swords and Nine of Swords and the Chariot card. For some reason, I thought I said the Knight and Nine. I don't pronounce my words properly, so I thought I said the Nine twice. So uh, what I really want to hone in on with this is that Pisces... You're in the final stretch of your gauntlet, right? You're building that character. You know, this gauntlet is building up some character in whatever way for you. Those struggles that you're constantly being put through, there's a purpose of like growing in some way. As long as you're not internalizing it, you're good, right? Because that when you start internalizing it, then it gets into this toxic loop, right? Getting, especially Pisces, getting out of your head. This is such an essential thing. Pisces, I feel like you guys are going to like be the reason that I like really put like my, I wanted to do like an imposter syndrome video where we address having imposter syndrome. If you don't know what it is, I strongly suggest looking it up because this is the vibe that I'm getting, honey, is that you guys are experiencing some hardcore imposter syndrome. Because of that, you're projecting it in almost every facet of your life, right? And so it's like, you're just taking the blame for everything. And it's just like, oh, this situation didn't work out because I'm not good enough. This person is not speaking to me because I just, I guess I'm not fun or interestingly, interesting enough. This family member isn't connecting with me because of my issues, right? You're, you're blaming yourself when there's, there's no one to blame, right? There's not, every situation doesn't need to have a reason for, or something, someone to blame. No one doesn't have to be at fault for it. Why am I struggling so much with speaking for your reading, Pisces? <laughs> so, yeah, I really, I know this is, I always feel self-conscious when I say it, though, but, because especially I'm just a man reading some tarot cards, right? And it's just like, you guys are going through your experiences and me just saying, it's just like, oh, you know, take a deep breath, just ride it out a little bit longer, Pisces, because there's a purpose to this, right? Um, that doesn't help you in the now. But the very least, especially with the chariot card coming in here and the nine of swords being in the river, like, honestly, here's the thing. The, these two cards are very fast forward moving cards, right? Nine of swords, though, admittedly, is a card where it's like fast forward movement and then they can get in their head pretty easily and start backtracking, right? Very, if I could give this nine of swords energy an example, it'd be like, you know, if you stay up late at night and like you have all these big plans for the morning where you're just like, oh yeah, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to run, I'm going to eat healthy, da 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 have a new schedule entirely, darling, right? And then you wake, you have all this motivation at three o'clock in the morning. I'm even recording at three o'clock in the morning. I'm guilt. I, this is me. I'm nine of swords, darling. <laughs> um, but then you wake up the next day and energy is just gone. Um, chariot card comes in though where it's just like it's more so you're there's you're 
you're gaining more ground than you are backtracking, right? Um, but this also just signifies to me with the Nine of Swords in the reverse, this usually is a card of anxiety when it's in the upright. So when it's in the reverse, I feel like this is what's being rectified for you. This is the fast forward movement happening, uh, going on for you, Pisces. And I do genuinely feel like you guys are at the very like last stretch. <clears throat> excuse me, of your guys' uh, gauntlet, I like to say. So now let's get into your dreamer card, Archangel Metatron. This card says, having taking a leap of faith, follow your dreams and unexpected opportunities. Now, this is, a, this is the full card in normal tarot. I want to pull some cards before I run my mouth. <laughs> the cards just came out, so... Uh, we have the Seven of Wands with the Two of Pentacles, as well as the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. I want to just say now, uh, Pisces, write down the number nine, because nine keeps coming up for you in your y'all's reading. Write down the number nine along with seven, because seven, sevens and nines are what's popping up for you a bunch. So look up those two numbers. Be sure to, because it's going to be a pop quiz at some point. Uh, asking about this. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's break this down a little bit. This Two of Pentacles here is a situation of where you're tossing between two things in the middle of some chaos, where it's just, it's almost like your, like this, your old life or like this old mindset that you have in this new mindset. And you're just weighing things out. You're not really sure how to necessarily go about doing things, right? Because you guys are so critical of your being so critical and internalizing so much Pisces at this time, you know, you have the one option here as the two of pentacles where it's just like, uh, I could take a stand and be like, no, you need to respect me. No, like, you know, holding yourself, like holding those around you to a higher standard because you accept and acknowledge that you deserve a higher standard, a higher level of respect and treatment, right? Or you choose to succumb to whatever that situation is from before that doesn't have you feeling good, right? That could be viewed as toxic or well, I don't even want to feed. And again, I don't want to, I don't like villainizing energies because we're all human. Um, you know, just a situation of clinging on to something. Let's just say like in family, for example, right? Maybe you have like a family member that just is like toxic or someone that you like to uh, really connect with, but it just isn't working out, right? Um, you know, and because you have that obligation of it being family, you're just like, oh, I should make it work out because they're family, right? But then it's just like, make the choice for yourself where it's just like, yeah, they're family, but this is making me miserable. This is making me just so insecure and in my head. I feel like you need to release yourself from this and give yourself permission and be like, it's okay to uh, release yourself from this. Seven of Wands comes in as standing your ground and defending your thoughts and beliefs. So, you know, this is very much so my anti-gaslighting card if you have been in this process of getting gaslit. You don't have to be gaslit, honey. It could just be a situation if you're doubting yourself, right? If you are so used to just blaming yourself, taking the fault for things, Pisces. This is a card from Spirit literally just saying you're not at fault, so take a breath. With the Seven of Pentacles, this is where a situation of like, this is what it is you're defending. This is like, the Seven of Pentacles is a card of seeds that you already have planted and are put energy into. So stand your ground with those seeds and be like, you know what? Like, you may not agree with the plants, the crops that I have planted, honey, but it's for me. This is not for you, not mind your business, darling, right? Um, you have it under control. This is your path now. You really are being leaned into especially with the full card, this is a fresh start. This is going into a new path, you know, starting at zero, right? Into your path. And so the two of pentacles example that I was talking about, that I was weighing out, seems to be you're being pushed into this situation naturally, of course, Pisces, of uh, taking a stand and, you know, not feeding energy into those old patterns that you've been feeding into that just has been making you seemingly just in your head and like miserable whether it's the other person's intention or the other situation right intention or not that just is the result that you're getting darling so now you have the six of fire or the six of wands this is a card of good news and public recognition uh ace of pentacles overall i see whatever path that you're going on as that dreamer card truthfully 
Pisces, it's going to, like, this is the path, like, you, there's a reason as to why you planted those seeds, why you're feeding energy into those crops, whatever those crops, whatever that seed is for you, because you had a good feeling about it. And this is confirming to you quite literally that it's going to pay out. So have faith at this time. I know, especially it can be really hard to maintain a dream when you're being overly critical of yourself, but also you have people in your life that don't have you feeling good and have, like, and the actions or the words that they're saying or not doing or saying uh, gets you in your head. But the greatest gift that you can give to yourself right now at this time, Pisces, is to just stop being so critical of yourself, you know, let go. So now, Pisces, I'm going to be doing some quick spreads for Pisces that are interested in hearing about their love and social situations, as well as my Pisces that are interested in hearing about their financial um, career situation. So if you're interested in that, stick around. We're going to start with your uh, love and social situations, Pisces. So let's see what's going on here. We have coming in the Hierophant in the... <laughs> The Hierophant in the reverse, the page, oh honey, Page of Swords, and the, wow, oh, no. okay, Ten of Swords. Ah, this is one of the, I don't, I can't ever hide my reactions or my faces to things, and I kind of wish I could in this moment, because I'm like, ah. I'm going to be honest here, Pisces, this doesn't look good. <laughs> I get this sense here that... I feel like you're closing out some type of, like, you know, I used the example from before of like a family member that like you were trying to make it work because it just wasn't feeling good to you. I mean, not because it wasn't feeling good. You're trying to make it work because they're family and there's this sense of obligation, right? But you're letting go of it. Or like that's a narrative that the card spilled out and that I projected onto it, I guess you could say. With this, this is letting me, this is just speaking more of like a closure of a cycle. Like the Hierophant in the upright, I'll explain this, is usually a card signing of higher commitment, right? So when you normally see the Hierophant in the upright, it's like, okay, yes, honey, yes, go off. So it's inverted. It's quite literally the opposite. Very much so divorce energy, very much so just separation. Uh, Ten of Swords, like Ten of Swords is a very aggressive card. Tens represents closures to cycles. And Ten of Swords, those are like, those swords are like stabbed in, I mean, again, I mean, okay, okay, the artwork for this one gives it better. You can explain it a little bit, right? You see these Ten Swords in this, in this animal's back. I was going to call it an elk, but I don't know if it's an elk for sure, honey. So you see so swords in this elk's back. I just called it an elk. I guess we're committing to it now. This elk's back, and it's these were placed over time right and so this is something that's been weighing heavy on you over time that's been a progressive bringing pain to you page of swords where it's just like communication just isn't lovely right definitely feels like there's some silent treatments being happening here um and that probably would make sense as to why you're in your head because it's like when someone gives you silent treatment uh maybe, maybe i shouldn't be speaking too out of pocket right maybe you're giving silent treatment to somebody else but um overall i just see a situation where it's like i see you guys closing off a situation that's like um that applied those 10 swords to you right don't worry for, i want to just preface this and say is like if you don't have something if you don't have anyone in your life that placed 10 swords in your back where it's just like that consistent pain um they don't have to worry about it right it just means that part isn't for you so now let's get into my pisces that are interested in hearing about their financial and career situation we have coming in for you the emperor card with the eight of swords in the reverse eight of swords yeah eight of swords in the reverse the two of swords and the seven of swords in the reverse okay honey this is what i want to see this is what i want to see when i see reverse cards so I am going to be honest, though. It's like a sense here where... Because the Seven of Swords is in the upright's distrustful energy. And so when it's inverted like this, you're kind of taking care of business with whatever it is you don't feel trustful with. Whatever taking care of business means to you, darling. You know, I'm not going to be an accomplice. <laughs> um, but Eight of Swords is a card normally in the upright of feeling trapped and feeling stuck in a situation. So... When it's inverted, you're breaking free from it. You're breaking out of that cycle. You're getting out of that rut, honey. 
And then uh, with the Emperor card and the Two of Swords, this is an interesting energy because it's like you're functioning off of some type of pain or some type of rejection, right? The Emperor card is very proactive, really like, you know, building something up. But this Two of Swords comes in of where it's like the sense of like, <sighs> you know, it's similar to the Two of Pentacles where it's like a fork in the road. But like in this sense, I feel as if like the decision you end up making is kind of like a decision in the heat of a moment where it's just like, you know what, like you're giving it the benefit of the doubt and so on, but there finally becomes like a breaking point where you're just like, you know what, give them the bird, even though it's not the bird, give them the bird and then you take, you take that new path. Um, so with this situation though, when it correlates to your career Pisces, I would say It seems to be like you guys are like finally breaking out of like some type, like I do kind of see you guys getting out of your head in terms of like your career and financial situation. Um, maybe you guys were like doubting yourself if you were be able, capable of being able to do something, but I can't help but feel like, it's hard for me, especially in a general reading to specify, but I can't help but feel like something's going to push you or motivate you to really push yourself and create for yourself right because the emperor card is very much so their own boss the emperor doesn't answer to anybody but um yeah this is my longest reading honey cancer uh cancer i called you cancer twice now i'm sorry pisces this is my longest reading for you pisces but i think you can forgive me since you guys are my longest reading now but i'm going to close this reading off for you pisces i hope you enjoyed this tarot reading if you did let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and hopefully I can connect with you guys sometime in the very near future, Pisces. Also, also, oh, hi, I almost forgot. Um, if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, be sure to send them my, share my videos with them, because I do weekly zodiac horoscopes for all the zodiac signs, not just Pisces. Um, so I would really appreciate it if you were to do that. But yeah, until next time, Pisces, I love you so much.